this section is about absolute and incremental programming. So first of all, we're going to look at absolute programming, which is G90. And G90 is the, uh, the common way to program, um, and it's the default. So generally speaking, we would be using G90. And when you get an XY figure or a Z figure, normally it's assumed that it would be an absolute figure. So this is a typical component that we have here. And you'll notice that there's a massive um, datum sign in the middle there. It's uh, the blue is the Z axis, the green is the Y axis, and the red is the X axis. And they're all plus directions. And this represents the datum. That means that every single dimension is from this point. And on a component, we can set this datum wherever we want it to be. Obviously, we pick a convenient point uh, depending on our drawing, uh, where everything's dimensioned from on the drawing. This is a drawing of the part. And when you look at this drawing, you can see um, it's obvious that everything's dimensioned from the centre of the part. And uh, therefore, uh, the obvious place to uh, choose for your datum is actually that centre point, the absolute middle of the part. Obviously, if these were dimensioned from the outside of the component or from one particular corner then we'd pick a different datum but always look at the drawing and decide what is the obvious place to put that datum before you start creating your datum so if you look when i dimension the part differently uh, in this case i've dimensioned from that bottom left hand corner so everything's coming from that bottom left hand corner which means you can see the X plus and the X minus signs on the on the uh, drawing. And it's always a good idea to put these on. Uh, if you're doing any programming, just pencil these on or draw them on, whatever, so that you can quickly see your directions. Now, if you look on this one, you can see that all the X figures and all the Y figures would be plus because it's coming from that bottom left-hand corner. So there would be no point in trying to work it out from the centre or the top right or whatever. You would automatically do it from that best point. And if you look at this next one, this is the other way around. So it's the top right-hand corner. And now you can see that we would be, our X dimensions would all be minus and our Y directions would all be minus. So every figure would be minus minus and it would all be worked from this corner. It's not always going to be this convenient. I mean, sometimes the dimensions are all over the place and you've, you do um, have to uh, compromise. But generally speaking, you want to be you want to be reading these numbers straight off the drawing. So whatever the figure on the drawing, if you can type that straight into your program, then everything will make sense. When you look at that program, the numbers will be the same. So the less calculation, the less simple arithmetic you need to do, taking these numbers away from one another, then the the more uh, the less likely you are to make mistakes with your program because you'll have numbers that correspond to what you see on the drawing so always try and do that because don't forget i always pick these nice round figures um, but in the real world they wouldn't be like that they'd have tolerances on them and when you work them out they wouldn't be it might be 200.489 and things like that which obviously is going to be a lot more difficult to add and take away from another figure without making a mistake so um Let's start looking at this program and see where the tool goes from this datum. So what we've done here, we've picked up this uh, tool three. It's a 25 millimeter drill. Um, and uh, my datum is the center of this component. So the first position I'm sending it to is um, X 130 and Y130. I'll let this tool come down to the component. My datum's showing there now. So I am effectively, I'm 130 millimetres away from it in the x-axis and 130 millimetres away from it in the y-axis. And I'm just going to let this uh, drill me a nice hole here. So it drills me a hole there. And the next thing I'm going to tell it to do is move to x minus 130. Now you'll notice there's no y figure in there. I don't need a y figure because I don't intend to move the y axis. I just want to move the x. Now I could repeat the y axis figure. Um, if I look on my position display, 
it does actually tell me where I am. I'm at 1.30 and 1.30. Um, and my Y already is at 1.30, so I wouldn't really need to re repeat that. And it wouldn't be a good idea to do that. It's uh, best to give as little information as possible, really. So now I'm going to minus 1.30, which is 130 millimetres the other side of the jaw. So uh, that all makes sense. The centre of the component is zero, zero. The other thing worth noting at this point is that uh, when we're looking at the directions that we're moving in, the plus and the minus directions, what we always have to imagine is that the tool's moving, not the workpiece. And that's how we know which direction we're going in. So the best way, if you're looking at these directions, is to do it, draw your component on a piece of paper and look or looking at a drawing and then you'll be able to imagine that the tool is moving around the workpiece and that's how you get your directions because if you look very closely at this machine you'll see that the table's moving so if you start thinking about the table moving it gets very confusing when you're thinking about the directions so always try and imagine that the component is static and the tool is moving around the component and that's how you know you x plus and your x minus and with regards to your z axis it is possible to have a machine although it's easy on this machine because we can see the tools moving downwards when we're going into the components and drilling in the z axis there are machines knee type machines or the t where the, a machine where the table actually comes up to the tool but no matter how the machine works and the directions the, it's the same program will work on any machine so whether it's the table moving or the tool moving or whatever on the actual machine the program will always be the same so if you program off the machine and imagine that the tool is always moving then when you put it on the machine it will always work no matter what the machine because the machine is to an iso standard it's, it's always going to move in that same direction okay so let's carry on with the part so i'm going to drill another hole Again, I can look at my position display. It's telling me where I am. My Y is still at 130 and my X is at minus 130. So I can see that. Let's bring this drill out of this hole. And then if I look at my program again, now I'm telling it to go to minus 130 in Y. And I'm not repeating the X. So my X will stay. If I show it on the position display, you'll see that my X stays in position and my Y moves to this 130. So now I'm at minus 130, minus 130, because I'm in that minus area. I'm the minus side of this datum. So I'm now going to drill a hole there. And I'll come out of that hole. And then if I look at my program, I'm going to now send it to X plus 130. So if I look on my position display again you'll see and again I didn't program the Y because I don't want the Y to move um, so I don't need to repeat it and then I can just drill a hole there and what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to zero zero XOYO now XOYO is my datum so there's only one X zero Y zero and that's what happens with absolute programming so what I'm going to do now is move to zero, zero, X, zero, Y, zero. So I'll go to the middle of my component and now I'm going to drill a hole in the middle. And that's straight through that datum because that datum is the center of the component. So that X, zero, Y, zero, there's only one position that is X, O, Y, O. And then, I mean, there is a hole there, believe me. I'll just turn that datum off you can see so i've drilled those holes and that's absolute programming so that means we're going to absolute positions and we're always coming back and measuring it's just like we put where that central hole is every one of those holes is measured from that datum 